Hello everybody and welcome to our video classroom. Today we are going to study the difference between sum and n. Before going to the rule, look at the screen and let's see some word combinations with sum. Some flowers, some birds, some butterflies, some clouds, some grass. So let's see the rule. It's good to know that sum is used in positive sentences and statements. Example, I want some bread. I have got some nice apples. I have got some tasty sandwiches. Let's have a snack. She has got some lovely parrots. He has got some dogs. Any is used in negative sentences. Let's see examples. I don't want any bread. Negative sentence. I don't have any flowers in the garden. Let's see one more example. I don't have any pets at home. We don't have any butterfly collections. We can't see any stars when it's cloudy. Do you know any English writers? So we can use any in questions too. Do you have any friends who speak English? Does he have any board games? Does she play any musical instruments? Now let's complete some sentences with some or any. Do you have books in English? No, I don't. I have books in French. Which one do you think is correct? Any or some? Do you have any books in English? No, I don't. I have some books in French. Let's complete some more examples. Is there juice in the fridge? Yes, there is. Let's see the right sentence. Is there any juice in the fridge? Yes, there is some. One more example. Are there birds in the tree? No, there aren't. But there are nice butterflies. Let's see the right sentences. Are there any birds in the tree? No, there aren't. But there are some nice butterflies. Now we are going to read the story. Look at the screen. I have some pictures. Guess, what might be the text about? Now let's read the text together and find out. The title of the text is Tom's Pets. Tom is a boy. He has got a mother. One day he said to his mother, Mother, may I have a dog? Tom's mother looked at him. She said, No, Tom, this house is too little for a dog. But I have a good name for a dog, said Tom. I want to name him Tippy. No, Tom, said Tom's mother. And he knew it was time to stop. Tom ran out to the park to play. He played in the park with Pete. Pete was his friend. Then Tom saw a little frog. Tom wanted that frog for a pet. Pete helped him to get it. They got a box and put the frog into it. May I have a pet? Tom said to his mother. I am going to, know, to name my pet Tippy, Tom said. Tippy the frog. Please, tell Tippy the frog not to come out of your room, said Tom's mother. Tom liked to play with his pet. What fun the frog was! The frog jump was a good jumper. Tom put down one book. Tippy jumped right over it. Tom put down two books. Tippy jumped over them too. 
Then Tom put down three books and Tippy jumped over them all. One day, Tippy was out of Tom's room. Jump, jump! He was here and there, all over the house. Then he jumped into the plates. Oh no, Tom's mother cried when she saw Tippy. Tom, take that frog out of the house right now. Tom put the frog into the box. Tom took the box and walked back to the park. Now let's complete some sentences about Tom. I hope you liked the adventure. Complete the sentences. Tom wants to have a hamster, a dog, or a cat. Tom wants to have a dog. He played in the park with a car, a ball, or a boy. He played in the park with a boy. It was his friend, yeah? They put the frog into a basket, a cage, or a box. They put the frog into a box. Let's answer some questions about Tom. Is Tom a big boy? No, he isn't. He is a little boy. Has he got a brother? No, he hasn't. He has got a friend, Pete. What does Tom want to have? He wants to have a dog. Does Tom like to play with his pet? Yes, he does. He likes to play with his pet. Now let's see what should you remember for today. So, it's good to know the difference between some and any. Some is used in positive sentences. Any is used in negative sentences and in questions. That's all for today. I finished my class here. Stay safe. See you next time and bye.